Welcome back, guys. Today's lesson is about using because and so. They both help you talk about a reason for something. You can use because and so to make longer sentences. You can use because to link things together. I am hot. I was running. I am hot because I was running. See, I was running was the cause. I am hot was the effect. Another word for cause is reason. Put the reason for something after because. In these sentences, the effect will be yellow and the cause or reason will be green. We will put them together with because. It can fly because it has wings. I am sad because it is raining. He can't play because he is busy. She likes cars because they are fast. In all of these sentences, the reason or the cause comes after because. There's also another way to talk about cause and effect. You can use the word so. But you will switch it around. You will put the reason for something before so. So here we see the same sentence. I am hot because I was running. Now we're going to switch it and use the word so. I was hot, so I am hot. See, you can use the word so to link things together too. Again, the cause is going to come before the word so. So in these sentences, it is raining, so I am sad. It has wings, so it can fly. He is busy, so he can't play. Cars are fast, so she likes them. See, in all these sentences, the cause comes before so. And that's it today. Now you can do your homework. You can practice using because and so. Good luck.